Let's have the discussion on discrete time signum function. Discrete time signum function is represented by SGNN and it is equal to 1 when n is greater than 0. This means n is positive and it is equal to 0 when n is equal to 0 and it is equal to minus 1 when n is less than 0 this means n is negative now using this definition of signum function we can have the sequence of signum function you can see that it is equal to 0 when n is 0 and it is equal to 1 for all the positive values of n and it is equal to minus 1 for all the negative values of n. So this is what we have as the plot of signum function which is discrete in nature. Now we can divide this waveform into two portions. Let's consider the first portion. This is the first portion. You can see that the function is equal to 0 when n is 0 and then it is equal to 1 for all the other values of n. This means we are having u n minus 1. We have already seen the waveform of u n minus 1. We can have this kind of waveform once we perform the time shifting which is of right shifting type by one integer place. And if we talk about this portion of the waveform then it is equal to minus u minus n minus 1. To get this portion we first need to perform the time shifting operation. We will perform the time shifting operation on un and we will have the signal un minus 1 this signal and then we will perform the time reversal operation giving us u minus n minus 1 and finally we will perform the amplitude reversal operation to have this signal waveform. So from here it is clear that if we add u n minus 1 and minus u minus n minus 1 we will have the signum function. So if we add u n minus 1 and we add minus u minus n minus 1 we will have the discrete time signum function as gnn or we can write u n minus 1 minus u minus n minus 1 equal to the discrete time signum function so remember this result and now we will try to find out if the signum function is an energy signal or a power signal or neither energy nor power signal and for that we will calculate the average power p of the signum function. From the waveform it is clear that it is not a periodic signal therefore the average power is equal to limit n tending to infinity 1 over 2n plus 1 then summation n equal to minus n to n equal to plus n mod xn square xn is the discrete time signal whose average power we are calculating and here in this case we are calculating the average power of signum function so in place of xn I will write s g n n square and we know modulus of signum function will make all these negative values positive values like this and therefore the signum function which is now converted to mod signum function we will have 1 as the value of function from minus infinity to minus 1 and then signum function with modulus will be 0 when n is equal to 0 and then it is again 1 up to infinity 
So it is clear to understand that mod signum function I will write here is equal to 1 when n is starting from minus infinity to minus 1 and it is equal to 0 when n is equal to 0 and it is again equal to 1 when n is from 1 to plus infinity. So it is clear that we are going to get the sum from minus n to n of 1 excluding n equal to 0. Therefore, the average power p will be equal to limit n tending to infinity 1 over 2n plus 1 and the result of summation will be equal to 2n. This time we are not adding 1 because function is equal to 0 when n is equal to 0. So we are having twice of n and now we will take n common from the denominator and this will give us the average power equal to limit n tending to infinity. In numerator we will have twice of n and in denominator we will have n inside the bracket 2 plus 1 over n. This n and this n will cancel out. So we have the average power p equal to limit n tending to infinity. We have 2 in numerator and in denominator we have 2 plus 1 over n. Now put n equal to infinity here and you will have 1 over infinity. 1 over infinity is equal to 0. So finally we are getting the average power p equal to 2 over 2 which is equal to 1 watt. So this is the average power of the signum function and we can see that the average power we have obtained is finite value and as the average power is finite this implies this implies the discrete time signum function is a power signal.